Hello, hi, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Florence and I know <laughs> it's been a minute. It's been a long minute since I was on this channel, but um, I figured what easier way to come back than with a fragrance unboxing video. <laughs> if you follow me on Instagram or on TikTok, then you already know I love fragrances. <laughs> and my collection has changed quite a bit since the last time I filmed a fragrance collection video for this channel. Uh, you can kind of see the, the fragrances right there. Anyway, I figured I'd show you my recent pickups and then you can let me know if you want to see a full fragrance collection. I will be filming a lot of fragrance content going forward just because I absolutely love fragrance and I want to make my contribution to the fragrance community. So yeah, <laughs> let's begin with the recent pickups in the past couple of months. The first box is from Nordstrom and we have Volutes by Diptyk. I already owned a fragrance sample of this for a while and I just chose to bite the bullet. They were having a sale and yeah, I got it at a good price so I'm happy about that. This is a tobacco fragrance. It's a powdery, spicy tobacco fragrance um, with some cinnamon, um, cinnamon tobacco. I forget everything else. <laughs> I'll have to read the notes, but yeah, those are the main notes. Cinnamon and tobacco. Oh, that was, that was fancy. It's a fancy little box. Ooh, okay. My other fragrances from Diptyque didn't come with this whole intriguing presentation. All right then, there we go. There's the bottle. How pretty. I love the art at the back of the diptych bottles. So, so pretty. All right, let's go ahead and smell this. I actually already know how it smells. <laughs> I know how all the fragrances in the bottle smell. But yeah, let's do a small smell test. There we go. It's really soft and powdery. There's some iris, cinnamon, tobacco. It's very powdery and sweet and spicy. Mm, I like it. I like it a lot. I'm happy to add it to my collection. So that's the first fragrance. Volutes by Diptyque. The next package is from Ellis Brooklyn. And I picked up A full bottle of Après from Ellis Brooklyn. I already owned a travel size of this. And as you can see, there is barely any juice left. <laughs> this has been a fragrance that I have enjoyed this month. I haven't been able to put it down. I mean, look at that tent. So yeah, during their Black Friday sale, I chose to buy a full bottle of this. It's a woody, aromatic, slightly spicy scent. Oh, wow, look at that bottle. That is so pretty. <laughs> so cool. This fragrance has some of my favorite notes. There's some woods like cedarwood, sandalwood, gayak wood. There's some um, booze. <laughs> There's some cardamom, some juniper berries. It's so, so yummy and well blended. It smells fresh, like alpine air on a snowy cold day. You know how pine trees smell? It smells like that. It is so satisfying. And then there's a warmth from the, I don't know if it's whiskey or what the note is, the boozy note is, but it's so good. And the wood is clean. Oh my god, like wood chips or like sawdust. I absolutely love this. <laughs> if you love woody fragrances, if you love boozy fragrances, if you love fresh aromatic fragrances, try this. Because it does have saffron, cardamom. So it's very fresh, leaning, the juniper berries as well. But it's still warm from the whiskey. There's some vanilla. Oh, this is so good. Mmm. 
this is going to be my Christmas day um, scent of the day. I'm sure I'll end up layering it with something else, but this this definitely I'm wearing on Christmas day. And clearly, as you can tell, <laughs> it's well loved. I have been layering this with almost everything in my collection. Let me know if you want to see like a fragrance layering video, because I do layer my fragrances a lot. <laughs> I, I, I definitely would like to film something like that. But yeah, lovely. And I love the magnetic cup. <laughs> it's the little things that make me happy. And then in the package, there were two small goodies. There's this, um, I think it's like a face moisturizer. What is it? Skin caring moisturizer. All right, we'll try that. And then they gave me a small sample of Myth. Myth is a musky, um, like skin scent, I think. It's actually good. Slightly floral as well. So it's musky floral, clean. The card says the unforgettable white mask from Ellis Brooklyn. This is really good. It's like a very, very clean mask. And the bottle is also very pretty. I'll definitely get my way out of this. <laughs> yeah, that's the second package. Let's move on to the next package. On to the house of Mason Magella. <laughs> and from them, I picked up a full bottle of Coffee Break from their replica line. Again, I also had the travel size. And as you can see, um, yeah, it has received a lot of love. <laughs> It's another fragrance that I wasn't able to put down. So when they had their Black Friday sale, I was like, okay, uh, I'm going to pick up a full bottle. So pretty. I love this picture here. <laughs> uh, all right, let's unbox this. Again, I already know what the fragrance smells like. <laughs> it's coffee, lavender slightly floral from orange blossom i love this bottle this they're so pretty <laughs> right so let's spray this on a card coffee break mm -hmm. yeah so the lavender is very strong actually i think it's more lavender than it is coffee but the coffee is still there Mm, and then it's slightly floral as well, slightly sweet. I really like it. <laughs> There's some vanilla as well. There's some milk. Mm, some tonka beans. It's warm. It's sweet. Then it, it has the coffee and the lavender and the orange blossom flower. It's really good. It's fresh. It's sweet. It's comforting. I find it so nice to wear when it's raining outside, which... um. If you know anything about Seattle weather, it's like right now till um, maybe end of May. <laughs> so I will definitely get my money's worth from this bottle. It's so, so lovely. So yummy. Mm. Wow. This is definitely up there among my favorites from this line. I really like this. I like Jazz Club as well. Those are my two favorites from Mason Magella. Mm, very yummy. I also got two free samples from them. The first one is Lazy Sunday Morning. This should be another clean, musky type of fragrance. Yeah, clean. Notes of silky smooth skin and fresh laundry. The memory of a Sunday morning in a white bed in linen. In a white bed linen. All right, then. Let's see. Oh, that's really nice. I do actually love clean scents, so... Yeah, it does smell like clean skin. It's lightly soapy, like clean laundry, literally. <laughs> That's exactly what it smells like. It smells like the imaging that they've put there. Clean laundry. Yeah, okay, I like that. I'll, I'll wear that. And the next one that I chose is Sailing Day. This is meant to be a marine oceanic type of scent. It's supposed to remind you of being out in the water on a boat. You know, we're trying to speak into existence the things that we want. Huh? <laughs> we want to own a boat that we can go out in, into the lake or the ocean and, you know, spend a day. Well, that's nice. It says um, aquatic notes and red seaweed essence, a deep dive into the infinite blue. That's really nice. 
look at the the picture they have for for this scent that's really good it's 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 fresh but like a different type of fresh from this so this is this is like soapy laundry fresh and this is like sea breeze sea breeze fresh that's so nice i i really like marine aquatic fragrances so i like that hmm this would be a lovely summer scent maybe i'll pick up a travel size in the summer we'll see we'll see how i feel about it that's really nice so yeah two small samples and then the last thing in the box is a tiny little candle <laughs> of one of their most famous scents which is by the fireplace i do own this fragrance oh wow it smells like the fragrance <laughs> it's so tiny and cute like how tiny is that candle <laughs> oh this is so cute it reminds me of the diptych ones that i already own let me show you actually oh that's somewhere on my desk i do own small tiny diptych candles that i've gotten as gifts when buying fragrances there's a santal one and a roses one so i guess my collection of tiny candles <laughs> keeps growing i'm not mad about it <laughs> I don't think I'll ever burn these. I'll just keep them as souvenirs. But yeah, that's everything from the house of Mason Magiela. And the last package, the really big one, is again from Not Strong. So let's get into it. And the first fragrance is from the house of Joe Malone. And if anyone has been following me on Instagram or TikTok, you actually already know what's this. <laughs> but it's a full bottle of wood sage and sea salt. Again, I already owned this fragrance. I do have a full bottle of it. But as you can see, <laughs> it is well loved and almost completely out. This is one that I reach out. It's like my damn rich fragrance. When I don't know what to wear, I'll wear this. <laughs> also, my partner really likes this, which explains why there's barely anything left. So I knew I would have to repurchase. And when there's a sale, that's the perfect time to repurchase a fragrance. So I purchased this during the sale. I also like that the bottle is different. I like that the cup is green. I found that pretty cool. It's also wood, or maybe it's fake wood. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, again, I already know what this smells like. But let's go ahead and sniff it. <laughs> it's another marine fragrance. Mm. This to me smells like a beach, and not a tropical beach. It smells like a rocky beach. <laughs> The type of beach that we have in Washington, rocky, with strong waves, a bit of seaweed, some driftwood. Mm, this smells very fresh. There's the sage, the sea salt, there's some woods in it, I think, and some citrus. So it's fresh, invigorating. This is so nice. Actually, I think this might be my favorite fragrance of all time. Like if I could only wear one for the rest of my life, which is not going to happen. <laughs> I think this is the one I'd pick because it's appropriate for all seasons. It has my favorite notes of woods and, and marine notes and citrus notes. You can wear it to bed. I like to spray it on my bed sheets as well when I do laundry. This is just really nice. Yeah, Wood Sage and Sea Salt by Jo Malone. Next, we got some free goodies. So let's open up um, the free goodies that we got. All right. There's two packages of goodies. Let's begin with this tiny one. We love free gifts. <laughs> I love how almost each of this package had free stuff. A tiny little cute bag <laughs> with a ribbon and all wow <laughs> oh 
All right, we got some tiny samples. The first one is a body cream of mimosa and cardamom. Let's smell that. Oh, that's really good. Okay. All right, Joe Malone. <laughs> I think I have smelled this fragrance itself before. That's really good. Um, next, we have a hand soap of lime, basil, and mandarin. I don't even know if these things are focusing. Anyways, you'll have to take my word for it. Um, lime, I love. Ooh, that's really nice. It's fresh and citrusy from the lime mm, and the mandarin. I like that. Then we have two tiny fragrances. Um, we have Peony and Blush Suede and English Pear and Freesia. I think I have smelled these ones before. But let's go ahead and spray them. I think, yeah, I have definitely smelled these ones before. We'll begin with the Peony and Blush Suede. I think this is like a fresh floral. Yeah, it's fresh, floral, slightly sweet. I wonder where the sweetness is coming from. Like a fruity type of sweet. That's nice. That's really nice. I don't necessarily love floral fragrances, but yeah, I think I can get some use out of this tiny bottle. I wouldn't buy a full bottle of this though. Maybe as a gift. <laughs> I know someone who would actually enjoy this. I'm looking at the notes. Ah, it has red apple. That's what the fruity sweetness is. is. Okay, that makes sense. All right, yeah. So it's fruity and fresh floral. I like that. It's pretty good. Let's try the next one, which is English pear and freesia. So I'm assuming it's going to be, again, floral and fruity and fresh. Okay, so this one is a lot fresher. So the English pear and freesia is a bit fresher than the peony and blush sweet. I assume because the pear fruit is fresher than an apple. Hmm. If I was to pick, I'd go with the English pear and freesia. Like this is a lot fresher, cleaner, which is my typically what I enjoy in fragrances. Let me look at the notes very quickly. Ah, it has melon. That's what's making it feel very fresh and watery. So there's melon, there's pear, some freesia, rose, musk, rhubarb, amber. Okay. Wow, that's really good. That's really good. Okay, so between the two, I'd, I'd go with English pear and freesia. That's nice. Anyway, we love goodies. <laughs> and then let's check the last goodie bag. In the last, ooh, in the last goodie bag, we have another small candle and this one is of nectarine blossom and honey that's nice i mean i can't smell much of it without lighting it but it's slightly fresh floral fruity okay <laughs> the candle collection keeps growing we love free candles and a tote bag <laughs> Wow, we love a good tote bag. And it's such a nice size as well. So it's actually practical. <laughs> oh, wow, I like that. I like the practical gift. And I think that's it. Cross the last box. <laughs> and that's more or less everything. This is the spoils from the unboxing. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you in the next one, which hopefully will be soon. Like, share, subscribe, all the good jazz, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.